hey what's up everyone good morning just got out here to the spot where i'm gonna be trying to go for some striper i got the new nickels big larry pearl wide i ended up putting uh, like the hologram sticker on there nice and flashy i'm also going to be testing out this new uh, lure that we just got in the shop it's uh, made by nomad design it's a uh, vertrex 130 it's a soft plastic like lipless I'll try this out I'm gonna apply some of the pro cure anchovy scent on there that's the secret we also got the big light baits the top water give it a try hopefully they're here Looks good. There are a lot of crawdads in here, so I'm going to try this red LV 500. That was a bite. All right, little large mouth. That'll be five hundred. There must be a couple right there because that was. More than one bite right here by the rocks. I thought I kept getting snagged in the rock, but it was actually a bass swiping at him. Fairfax, Woo. the water is flowing. Hopefully they're here. Man, I haven't been to this spot in over a year. We'll see. The only thing I don't like about this spot is the fence are high. I think I'm gonna start off with the Nomad. What I'm gonna do is, I guess I'm gonna climb up here to the top of my forerunner. I only weigh about 140 pounds, so I should be able to hold my weight. And I'll just sit right here. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, wish me luck. This lure weighs a little bit over two ounces. Designed to fish down to about 200 feet, so I think it's fine in this current. Right into the current over here. All right, let's try the flutter spoon.
current's way too fast. Striper. Yeah, no skunk. No, oh, get off of that bar. First striper of the day. So I guess these stripers are down a little bit further over here. Just because the current's so fast. That was a bad cast. Damn, the wind is blowing it that way. Hopefully there's more of them. Especially when there's small stripers like that. Trying to get away from all that fast current right in the middle seems to be a little bit better. Oh, I just had a hit. Oh, There's actually quite a few right there, right behind that buoy line. I'm feeling these bites as it gets to the oh my god, the wind. Dang it. It's trippy because you want to cast as close as you can to the buoy line, but the wind's blowing this way too, so do it like that. Alright, there you go. Might have to move down a little bit farther. There's too much current right here. This is kind of where the strikers should be at too. At least the fence right here is low enough to where you can still make casts out there. You suck till your lure is banging on the cement on the way up. Gosh, it hit it on the way down. Dang it. Shoot. Oh my god. That was a keeper for sure. <laughs> 